I'm going to show you how to get started writing JavaScript code on the BBC Microbit using the Esprino JavaScript interpreter. So this is um, a bit different from something like Microsoft Make Code, in that Make Code takes your code, compiles it on your PC, and then sends it over to the Microbit. Whereas Esprino is an interpreter that runs on the Microbit itself, and it makes writing code a much more two-way experience. You can query the values of variables on the fly and change functions and things like that. So to get started, um, you just need to go to esprino.com forward slash microbit, uh, follow the link under flashing Esprino to the download page, and then right click on I'd suggest the cutting edge build, um, save link as, and put it on your microbit drive. It takes a few seconds for that to install. Um, and then all you need to do is go to esprino.com forward slash IDE in the Chrome web browser. If you're on Windows, it's a little bit more involved than that. So I suggest you go to s.esprino.com for the quick start and follow the instructions for Bluetooth LE. So um, when you're on that page, all you have to do is left click and um, choose a port. Now, if you're using a uh, an offline IDE, you can get access to the USB port but we're actually going to use web Bluetooth, so we're going to do everything completely wirelessly. Uh, we just click on Esprino Microbit and click Pair. Um, and you'll see some stuff's happening here, and we'll get a terminal on the left-hand side of the screen. So we can type stuff here, and this is executed on the device itself. So that's not very exciting, but we can um, ask it what its temperature is, for instance. Or we can ask it what the value of its accelerometer is. Uh, in which case it will give us these um, this, this object with three values in. So we can also display things on the display. The standard function that's built in is um, it's just called show, and you give it a number where each bit of that number represents one LED. So one is the top left, um, two will be one in from that, and so on. And it's not a very easy way of working, so we can actually do a lot better. If you go to the microbit page, there's a whole load of information about built-in peripherals. And there's some code here showing you how you can do graphics like a smiley face. Um, or there's uh, a proper full graphics library. So if I take this and I just paste this in, we'll see the Esprino text, we'll see the Esprino text scrolling through. Um, and all we really needed was those top lines, and we would have complete control over what goes on on the screen. Um, so we've got this way of writing, which is very hands-on, or you can write code in the right-hand side. Um, this gives you a, a proper editor where you can move around and copy and paste into things. Um, and when you're done and you're ready to see it, you just click Send to Esprino here. You also have a graphical editor, which um, is a little bit more um, more restricted, but you still get a lot of the same features of being able to see exactly what's going on. Um, so for instance, if we wanted to, um, to print a value to the screen here, um, we could actually do it and, and report back a lot more text than you could easily get on this, this little 5x5 five five LED screen. Um, so for instance here, we could just write um, repeating or something. And then hopefully we would see that when the text got to the end, it will it will tell us. There you go. Um, so we can do this, but we can also replace functions on the fly. So let's say we've got all this, and we'll, we'll keep this as a named function. Um, so we'll just call it timer. And I'll upload that do exactly the same thing. But now I can step up and I can see where time was defined. And um, maybe I, d I don't like that text saying repeating, so I can just choose to get rid of that. Um, and so now it will stop. It will have replaced the function on the fly while everything was still happening. Maybe I actually want to get rid of this completely and I want to um, draw something based on the accelerometer. So I can quickly look at this. I'll, I'll write the accelerometer value to something called A. Um, and then instead of draw string, 
let's just go for set pixel. Uh, so we'll, we'll kind of round the value we want. And we know that two is the middle and we want the acceleration X times a bit so that we don't have to move it too hard. Um, and we'll do the same for Y as well. Two plus A dot Y times four. Um, and so now it'll immediately jump from, um, from displaying the text to showing the silly D. And I should add that this blinking is actually just the webcam. And um, so now we can see that actually it's, it's showing the rotation. And obviously we can, we can make that um, much, more, um, much more sensitive just by, by increasing the numbers here. If I do this, hopefully we'll see it. Whoops. Yeah, there you go. It's changing much, much more. So this is like really quick and really easy. You also have access to a whole lot of Bluetooth functionality. There's a whole big reference um, on esprino.com forward slash reference, which shows you loads of things you can do. Um, not all of these are available um, because the chip inside the micro bit is, is actually quite low power compared to the chips that are in normal Esprino boards. But for instance, um, if you want to advertise the URL, uh, you can follow the exact code that you would use on Puck.js for using an Eddystone beacon. 